Now, this clip is a few days old, but Trump's top economic advisor, Larry Kudlow, is one of the worst people in government. So watching Jake Tapper completely corner him is just a thing of beauty. Had an increase. Now, remember, Jake, we are now testing at about a hundred times the rate we were back in March yes, when some the of pandemic it's testing. first exploded. Some of it is absolutely from increased testing, so but, but one of the issues is increased deaths right. and increased hospitalizations, and that's not from increased testing. But I'm glad to see you uh, calling for people to wear masks, and I assume that that also means at the absolutely. Trump rally in Tulsa, I mean, people should be wearing masks at the Trump rally in Tulsa this Saturday. I, well, okay, uh, 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 probably so. I want to also say, though, that hospitalizations may be going up, but that's because elective procedures are now permitted. And maybe most importantly, Jake, although the case rate has increased a bit, we're not talking about a second round here, but we hope not. Uh, we fatality hope rates, not. fatality rates, Jake, continue yeah. to be very low. That's probably the ultra key metric. The way he stammered for like five seconds, <laughs> he just knew. And Jake Tapper kind of smirked there. Good work by him. You know, I think he's in the top third of cable anchors. I know the bar is the floor, but credit where it's due. I know Jake Tapper really needs my credit, <laughs> obviously. Joke. I realize sometimes my sarcasm is pretty dry and sometimes people don't pick up on it. So now I have to like declare that it's a joke, which means it's always a good joke. The reason that he's so flummoxed there is because Trump is hosting a rally, starting to host rallies again. Notoriously, his first rally will be in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and he is making masks optional there while they're handing out masks now after public pressure. Um, it's a breeding ground for COVID, especially as COVID-19 cases are on the rise in the very area where he's hosting that rally. Officials in Tulsa, Oklahoma are warning that President Trump's planned campaign rally on Saturday, his first in over three months, is likely to worsen an already troubling spike in coronavirus infections and could become a disastrous super spreader. They are pleading with the Trump campaign to cancel the event, slated for a 20,000 person indoor arena, or at least move it outdoors. It's the perfect storm of potential over the top disease transmission, said Bruce Dart, the executive director of the Tulsa Health Department. Tulsa County tallied 89 new coronavirus cases on Monday. It's one day high since the virus's outbreak, according to the Tulsa Area Emergency Management Agency. The number of active coronavirus cases climbed to 532 from 188 in a one week period, a 182% increase hospitalizations with COVID-19 almost doubled. Epidemiologists are envisioning a worst case scenario for viral spread at the rally. The novel coronavirus can transmit through thousands of tiny respiratory droplets that hang in the air indoors, especially when people are talking loudly, probably screaming, cheering, laughing, singing, and sharing bathrooms. Trump's making them sign waivers that they won't sue if they get coronavirus, as coronavirus cases are hitting highs in the very area where he's going to have this rally. It's one of the worst, most disastrous Trump campaign decisions I've seen. I know that that's, there's an array of them, but it really just crystallizes the selfishness, sociopathic, cruel, callous selfishness of the Republican Party. They don't care if his supporters get sick. He needs the optics of a campaign rally. He sees that he's lagging behind Joe Biden in the polls. Joe Biden, Sleepy Joe, Joe Biden, Donald Trump, if the election was held today, would lose handily to the polls seem to indicate. And I know, I know, 2016, but well, I was just starting out in 2016, and I remember saying it's basically 50-50, it's 60-40. I, I, I have been around the country and people hate Hillary Clinton. It's a, different, it's a different vibe right now. Things can improve, the economy can marginally improve by November, but, but Trump's hurting and he knows it. And he knows that campaign rallies and that populism that, that, and that fuel that he gets from that is his best chance. So he's desperate to have them again. <laughs> And I think selfishly too, he loves them. He like, that's where he thrives. So he wants to do them again. And he's willing to get his supporters sick because of it. I, again, why is it indoors? Just do it. It's the summer, dude. It'll be nice. He doesn't want to sweat. Okay, I just answered my question. But like, come on. It's, it's, it's a breeding ground. They're almost, if, if he was trying to get his supporters sick with coronavirus, it would be indistinguishable with the plan that he has now. And that's why I, I, just to bring it back to the original clip, 
People like Larry Kudlow, they can say that they believe in mass. He wants to, I know, sociopathically reopen the economy so that his portfolio gets uh, increased. I totally get that, whatever, that's his primary motivation. So then he can talk about mass in this abstract way, but then when it's applied to the Trump campaign and his rallies, uh, 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 right? Because it's become a cultural issue, but Larry Kudlow isn't dumb enough to actually believe that you shouldn't wear masks. So he was caught in this mental trap and uh, beautiful work done there. I am terrified about this rally because if Trump supporters get infected with COVID-19, it doesn't just affect them guys. It affects all of us. They'll spread it to other people. And this pandemic will go on even longer than it actually is slated to.